Today we are talking about LastPass free versus premium and if it's worth upgrading your account. So there's really three reasons why you may wanna upgrade. Uh, the first has to do with security and specifically fingerprint two-factor authentication. So we're gonna be getting to that. The second has to do with if you're somebody who has accounts such as Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu, and you share those with family members, why the one-to-many share function is really important. And the third has to do with the unfortunate situation if something were to happen to you, something very critical, and you have other people in your life that need access to your accounts, why it's really important to have that emergency access. So the first thing I wanna to mention too is this particular video is gonna be focused on single users and families. If you're interested in business plans, there will be a video that'll pop up on the screen if that's what you're looking for, so you can check that video out. Uh, the second thing I will mention is that no matter which route you go, it is free for 30 days with the premium and families account. There is a link in the description to sign up for your free account. Same price to you, still free 30 days. But if you do end up purchasing, I will receive a commission with that link. And I appreciate it because it helps to support my channel and what I'm trying to build here on YouTube. So let's get to it and start comparing some of the features and why you may want to go with the premium service. Now, the one-to-many sharing, I mentioned this quickly. So this is available on premium and families. This is really, really helpful if you're somebody who's sharing things such as Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. Now, the reason for that is let's take Netflix, for example. On Netflix, you can have up to five different profiles and four devices streaming at the exact same time. So this means that you could buy one Netflix account and share it with four different family members. So if you've ever had the unfortunate situation where you had to update passwords because you have a hack, uh, the annoying thing is, is if you go to Netflix and you update that, then you're trying to update, you know, for three, four other different people that are using that account. With one-to-many sharing, the way that works is you're able to update that password in that one account and it's automatically going to update it for other people that you're sharing that account with. So then when mom goes to log into Netflix or Disney Plus, that new password is already updated for her and you don't actually have to email her and let her know what the new password is. So it's just really handy when you, know, you have to update passwords that the people that you're sharing those passwords with, you don't have to notify. You can just go in and update it and you're good to go. Now, the unlimited share folders, I'll touch on this for a moment. This is available with the families plan. My opinion, it's not a reason to go with the family plan. The reason you go with the family plan is because you have kids and you have different people who have different passwords and you wanna partition that. When you go with the uh, family plan, you get six premium licenses, but you get it at a steal at $4 a month. So it's just an extra dollar. So let's say if you had three kids and a spouse, then the five of you can all have your own separate accounts, but then you'll be able to do one sharing between all those different accounts. So then your kid can have their own Netflix account, things like that. That's why you really go with the uh, family plan. In my opinion, the unlimited share folders, cool, but you can replicate that pretty easily with like Dropbox or Google Drive and things of that nature. So when we go down to security, there are two cool features here that are available on premium and families. The first is advanced multi-factor options. So you can take security to the next level with multi-factor through YubiKey and fingerprint authentication. So what is that? Well, if you go over to the YubiKey uh, website by Yubico, Basically, it looks like a USB thumb drive, but it actually has fingerprint technology. So then what you're able to do is you don't actually have to remember a single password. You just simply put that USB key into your computer. You put your finger on it and it's going to know who you are and that's going to connect to LastPass. So then you have all of your passwords are really being stored through your own fingerprint. Now, the downside to this is if you're in a rated R action movie and somebody were to, you know, and then put your finger on the key. So do know, though, obviously, if you're going this route, you're going to have to purchase a UB key as well. Uh, they kind of started about $45 and go up from there. You can just put it right on your keys. So if you're on the go, you have a laptop, you're always logging in different places. This is really secure way to do it. And nine out of the top internet companies in the world. So companies like Microsoft have switched over to UB keys. So a pretty cool feature that you can combine with LastPass to really make it easy to manage your passwords because you won't even have to remember one password. You just have to bring your fingerprint with you. Now, the emergency access one. So this one's a little bit morbid, right? But if there was something to happen to you, right? How are you going to get all of your passwords and access to somebody else? So what happens with emergency access is when you have a premium account, you can designate an emergency access contact. So the only requirement is that person has to have a LastPass account. So you can give that person even a free LastPass account, designate them as the emergency access contact, then like if something were to happen to you, you're in a bad car accident, you know, you're not capable of accessing your passwords and accounts. So this person's gonna be able to get in and make sure that they can get into all the important information that they need. Because perhaps you're the person that's always done the finances with bank accounts and retirement accounts and things like that that are very critical and crucial to most likely who's gonna be probably your spouse 
or a child, this makes it very, very easy to be able to give them that access. Now, it's something that would take about a minute to set up, but then if something were to happen to you, it's very easy for them to be able to get in. Of course, if something were to happen to you, uh, your loved ones are gonna have enough to deal with. Uh, this is going to be something that's very easy for them to be able to just take over control of all of your accounts and passwords via LastPass emergency access. So going down a little bit further, uh, you do get the uh, self-guided and email support once you go to premium and uh, one gig of encrypted file storage. That storage is pretty helpful if you wanna take scans of pretty sensitive documents such as like a passport or a license that you can store it very securely in the cloud. If something were to happen to you, you can have a digital will in that storage. Your loved one would be able to access your account through emergency access, have your license, passports, digital will, everything that they would need very quickly. And again, as I mentioned before, uh, if you wanna go with the family plan, the only reason to do that is if you wanna open up more accounts, you get six premium licenses, which is just great to try as well. So in the next video on the screen, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna walk you through getting set up and started with LastPass with a free trial, what it looks like, all the features and functionality of a premium account, and then walk you through exactly how to get set up as quickly as possible. All right, guys, I will catch you in that next video, and thank you for using my link in the description below.